or MIBR had much of the lead on bind. C9 does get the win, and now we start on to split. 4-1 for MIBR to start off their attack strategy. So recall smoke to try to peek out. Four players moving forward for MIBR, and Jake Hat, the sixth sense, to want to start falling back within this one. But there's so much KJ utility right here to support Jake Force the back of the site. There is that dash forward, and even the microwave set up there from Whippy to drop two, but Mazine wrapped over the back of that B site. RGL Meister even traded off at the pillar onto Vanity. So instantly, what looks so good is back into MIBR's advantage. Paint Shells almost got that kill out from Oxy onto Mazine. At least the players are low for MIBR. Yep, a tried and true just blast on the B. Zeppa, enough time to look for the flank. He calls it correctly. Important 1v1 right here, and it's won by FRZ. Difficult now for Oxy. A disadvantage against three players. Make that two. And look how passively we're playing. RGL is all the way back towards spawn. So there's the grab well for the first one. And FRZ could just wait it out. He has a ghost. So there's no more delay available after the Nova Pulse coming out from RGL. And there is that stick on the spike. The 3 2 1 for the double swing. And RGL gets that pick. All right, so we'll keep track of this too. Retake there for MIBR. They grab a pistol for themselves. Let's see what they go for second buy. If they try to just go for the same strat again, or they give a little help over to that side where FRZ was lurking. Looks like they will go towards A. They'll just get that default Viper wall up so they can get into sight. Interested to see how they use the Astro Smokes. We will get a little bit more of a lurk here from RGL. An extra stack here from Cloud9. It's Should be able to chaos. do some damage to MIBR. A Vandal. If that Vandal gets picked up, Cloud9 can definitely turn this one in their favor. And that's in the hands of Mazine, but right now he's using Util to allow JZZ to satchel up towards the E-Ramp. Okay. With a boom bot to clear events and a dot to look towards the right, knowing that it's clear a counter flash. Wow. C9's not looking to push back within that one. Turret now sees the over-aggression out from the top of the E-Heaven side as FRZ still manages to get a pick here with a snake bite right within the A site. Now inside the fence, three players to greet Jake. And that's not gonna allow for you to get too much out of the gamble stack that you had from C9 towards this A site. Very confident movement here from MIBR. C1, they're gonna make their way into B. And I feel like we're gonna see that quite a bit more. Just that rush up to A, whether it's a waterfall into A site or towards B. C9, I'll, I'll be at a, a save round. I don't think they're going to be giving or uh, playing in that heaven position much with how quick and how much of a death ball MIBR sends on these strategies. This one going to fizzle out here in the way of MIBR as C9 may not get in for the defuse we do. I like this right now. Mazin just trying to get a one and die if he yeah. can get ulted within the next <laughs> round. They kind of did a Bogdan's Law, a mini Bogdan's Law to give that Vandal over to RGL. Okay, I only that at my... least it gives an opportunity for MIBR mm. to work towards an orb and even utilize Seekers on their bonus round. All right, keeping an eye on Whippy for a moment, seeing how they set up this Killjoy for now. Interesting, it's just going to be towards B. A lot of times Killjoy, in the early days, we saw that set up with the bot towards Vent, a turret towards A, a lot of long range detection. It seems like they forgo that now and expect a, a B hit here. Most of the members of MIBR at A looking for this slow lurk hit again. And it's even changed, right? Mazin is now the one off hanging out with that Vandal. The rest of the team together. That was RGL Meister last round. Good detection. And I was wrong. C9 do want to play this ramp. They expect MIBR and they are ready to fully connect with it. Right into sight MIBR goes once they detect somebody up top on heaven. Open sight right now for a plant. Gamble plant out in the open. Nobody running outside of the smoke. So good enough here for MIBR to play. And three gain control of heaven. And off that pick, there's the Seekers we were talking about here. An opportunity for MIBR to convert this bonus round to get information on two players at least towards this A heaven side. And after that flash, all of C9 pivots towards the screens. Waited in, stopped at least for one frag, but instantly traded off. And then again, Roger saying that they can't wow. gain the space towards the screen. C9 falls back for a save in MRBR. They convert their bonus to get the third. So a little variation to not going up ramp. They use the double duelist strategy as per order. Dash right into sight and bounce right in as well. With JZZ only losing one here, forcing C9 to the saves. MIBR is confident in their strats. Uh, whether or not they're able to hit the first shot, the refrag is there and the whole team is in on the strategy, right? Everybody in on a bad strat is 
better than half the people going in on a good strat. MIBR is just on board with everyone. And it's it's really making the difference here on these sight hits. Some gun saved. We see Oxy going down to the judge here. Let's see what he can produce. He gets up close and personal in mailroom. Yeah. Ends up being a very good call for C9 to save to yeah. still bring out some firepower within this round. It was very smart. Jake Switch up the warmer on this one. Yeah, Jakey low. Might just be hiding in the back throwing smokes out. They've switched over Whippy now towards A. See if they can defend this. But it looks like MIBR is going to choose the numbers game again and end at the right site as of now. Really great movement across the map that MIBR has been utilizing here. You always get the Viper wall on the right. FRZ's been toying with that the last few rounds with the team. Now they just leave it up to use the gas and play mind games. They use the timing of that smoke to allow JZZ to double satchel out, catching Seppa off guard within the spawn. But Jake is still out alive, rather, in the back of the site. Vanity dropping down with two players. Showstopper out. Oh, oh Vanity did not race it! It's still a two versus two. Flash to come out. Nice shot by Mazine. Can't use that yet. Players are low, but the heal then comes out from Mazine onto RGL. Making it harder for Whippy to try to win this one. Spike planted. Low armor now, low HP. First contact, he knows the second one's the planner. The 3 2 1 again for MIBR. Double swing out. The C9 still can't find an answer on the aggression of MIBR. MIBR says no retakes for you today, Cloud9. They are having That's a true. tough tough time trying to retake these sites here. MIBR is doing so good at one, taking the site, finding the kills they need, but also getting into position that just roots them in, no matter the utility that is expected from Cloud9 to try and retakes here. Great positioning. It does not seem like they're getting pushed out of their confidence right now. And again, slowly towards B with FRZ now towards that right side to initiate that lurk that has been in the back of two C9's head. No mid so far for, for MIBR. They're sticking with the extremity. They get there, they hit it. Clean and clear what they want to do on these situations. And they do it again, Van Silly. Low buy from C9. Yeah, and that unloads all of the stinger bullets onto Ooh. that kill. But, you know, the stinger, as fast as it's able to get the kill, it's fast that the bullets actually empty within the clip. You have this lower buy that you had for C9, and it just couldn't hold it on that crossfire setup. And MIBR is looking very strong on the pulse plan, even with. This trailblazer spotting Zeppa within the back of the site. A little run around from FRZ here <laughs> as the trail. MIBR doesn't want to chase this. One enemy remaining. Allowing FRZ to do what he does best. Just lurk behind, get as many picks as you can. Whippy down to oh. one HP. We'll be able to get an upgrade. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's still the round for the Brazilian team. Operators out too, so MIBR's game where they have been hitting every site. If they feel uncomfortable with that, Vans, now they can go for the opening pick, get something sure off of that, and make it work. So many options here are opening up for MIBR with the lead. They're now taking on split. Their pick too, and uh, I think we see why. Coming in on the attack side, they are relentless with what they're hitting. A few towards A, almost three towards B from what we've seen here, and again, completely avoiding mid here on the B retake. You see these shots just connecting left and right. And on this replay that you see the hit from the double duelist moving out towards the orange hallway, mm -hmm. this is twice in a row that when they're looking to explode within this B site, you're going towards that area because they learned from that piss around that they got cooked by an yeah. early kill <laughs> utility out towards the billboard and that pillar. So I love the new pathing, immediate adaptation to really catch some players off guard. Although, even if Whippy doesn't have that setup towards that B site mm -hmm. for the last few rounds, it's still a good pathing in case they want to do for that switch to still avoid that utility. So this timeout comes out very important for C9 to see how they want to adapt to this. That The pathing as well that you're saying to, towards the right side works as well because we're not really seeing omens anymore and that was usually omens paranoia spot. So knowing that you're clearing that area, nobody's going to peek behind what is new box, I guess older box now. Yeah. It's not it's not new anymore. Uh, that, that helps. So the pathing is so many ways a plus uh, that you were mentioning. All right. That operator still out goes over to our team. And we have guns on the round, but it is going to be low armor for the side of C9. Some ultimates coming close to being on deck here, so that could start to turn the game for them in the next few rounds. And they are going to keep this 2-1-2 two, two strategy, along with Whippy being at A to lock it down now. A little bit of mid-love here for the first time as JZZ is going to wander about. 
both teams kind of just mirroring each other as they present to this round. It's kind of funny. And the 2-1-2. Two, two. Ob now being heard out from Arlesine. Oh, oh, you're no. kidding. Potentially looking to reposition back towards the mail as he got spotted first and just tried to go for the lucky timing in. Wow. You got it here for Arlesine. Already pushed up ramp too. MIBR playing the audio game, waiting to hear any type of rotation and movement off the kill from Vanity. Just gaining every bit of info to make sure the next move is a successful one. They will go ahead and take Heaven. Everybody in mid's waiting for the confirmation here. You could do so much right now, and the flash comes out from screen. So this is a call now for MIBR. Mm -hmm. They have so much that they could do. Pivot from here from Vents out towards the A side to explode. They don't really know where the KJ utility is yet, so. Looking to just push forward within this A site. Now they finally sought the uh, spot the turret within this A site. For them to decide now if they want to fall back or just explode now with the power numbers. KJ and Sky for C9 stuck within the A site. They waterfall into this utility. Could be big. The shots have to hit though. Still hidden. 30 seconds left. Flash for our timing. That's nice for Whippy and Zeppa in the back of the site. Beautiful hold in the Ooh. end. Oxy with the cavalry for the support in the back. Pain shells pushing FRZ away. And with 18 seconds left, spike down within the A site. Not much here that Thra could do. Drop right away, and that's confidence out from C9 as they get the first round and a beautiful hold from the two players on the east side. May have seemed a little scary when we saw all of MIBR taking free space to heaven, but that was almost a trap there. C9 was not peeking. They weren't giving any more info. And as soon as the waterfall happened, that's when we see Whippy and Zeppa pop out of the woodwork inside sight. Really <laughs> nicely done, you can see. It's like, yeah, can't believe they fell for that. <laughs> Let's do it again. Coming into round seven, still a lot of work to be done here from Cloud9, but they're starting off right with that round. A lot of money MIBR can go through here over the next few rounds. So C9 has to do more than just win. They got to do full damage, no saving allowed. Boomba just saw there, Vanity trying to work within the vents. Yep. All right, trying to dog it back just to force GZZ in the 1v1 stuck within vents now. He goes for the snake by Vanity. Hello. Never turned around. Should have been ready for that, but Oxy is at least within the B site. Showstopper now out, trying to trade it out against Vanity, who got dropped by JZZ just within these vents. That was a. <laughs> yes, indeed. Another Rosa, but Mazine still clean with it with the shots. JZZ with the late lurk. A baited shot from Zeppa to look back towards the male, allowing C9 to regain the advantage within round seven. Mazin's just trying to play the timing. But it's better for C9, both walking back towards the spawn. Mazin sticking the plant, and there's that swing out for Zeppa for yep. the kill. Fans, two rounds now. Vanity has found himself going down first, but Cloud9 are still able to convert off of the 4v5. Not, not what we saw on Bind. A Finally, something different from Bind, indeed, A yeah. Big change there for C9 to be able to crack these rounds. And a big push there by JZZ. They'll be they'll be a little bit more aware that that's going to be happening. We've seen the lurk on A and B very back and forth. Whether or not FRC is taking it or not, it's only been a few of the rounds of the seven we've seen. And that time it being JZZ threw everything off with the timing. Full A, full hit. We think we're double duelist into sight here. Let's see. <laughs> They're going to go over a lot of util and four ultimates from C9. Whippy's ready for it, though. I mean, look at it. He's already back towards the screens. Even if the satchel braces util, they want to play the lockdown for up. the retake. Instead, yes, indeed. A double satchel up there. Seekers to come out on the attack. There is that lockdown to prevent the attackers from moving within the A side. Nice pick from JZZ, though, as Zeppa falls first. But that timing of the lockdown coming down, it doesn't allow MIBR to move within the site right. or a plant but still giving time for C9 to rotate across to refight us. MIBR is cutting noise. Hit number two. MIBR with a second attack. Woo! Oxy gets the timing, God, tries to get the spray, but at least Vanity's spike there for the kill. Down That's a spike down towards hell. Artisine trying to go for the spray transfer. Goes to World Counters, RGL also cannot trade it out. Pit comes out instantly for some odd reason. <laughs> Another 4v5 conversion. Oh my gosh, Cloud9 heating up right now. They lose a member, they correctly adjust, and they find a way to shut MIBR down, which has not been the story at all here throughout this series. See, diving right into the side. And this was the second hit, right? They went to heaven, didn't like the adjustment. The ult comes out. 
and they fly back into the site, but C9 is ready. Oxy going wild there. Him and Oxy and Vanity just coming out on the balcony, laying people out in sight. They were very confident to double peek together. We're seeing that confidence come out, and the cobwebs wear off for C9 here, as MIBR is now in a timeout. Yeah, I mean, the timeout's quite important here. Again, looking back at the last few rounds that's been going down, the last two attempts of a hit within the A site, yeah. one gets denied right away from a crossfire setup from both Zeppa and Whippy. The second one off the re-hit that they attempted, denied right away. But they've been finding a lot of good success mm -hmm. within the mid control and also the B explosion. So would that be the play here? Did they find an opportunity to, to fight back against C9's defense on that B site? Will C9 try to adapt to that? comes down to the mind game here with the coaches yeah. talking through their players with Bazooka and you. Absolutely. All right, Arts and save. Looks like weapon drop for one. We're just full in. Just not showing the weapon yet. So, Bladestorm out, MIBR at five. The last three in Cloud9's favor. We're gonna get one of our final gun rounds here for MIBR. If they can't get this, they're onto a save. Yeah, this right time, into sight. This time the flashes towards main. Seekers instantly coming out here Whoa. for Zeppa. As Oxy once again comes in for the support from the top. So it doesn't matter if there's a Toxic Green being pushed out Toxic from the attacking side. As finally Thra picks it up, turns around within the back of the side, and FRZ will get the plan at least for MIBR. Satchel on the other end. Oh, nice little right. neutral coming out. Oxy will get the last one for the I by Power Race. Amazing hit there. The Astro Utility coming in to just alley oop the rest of it for the I by Power Race. And mind you, those watching right now screaming at Oxy and those watching at home. I mean, I by Power, our new, our new sponsor, our new partner right now for the. America's VCT and what they're doing currently is for every ace they're actually giving out a PC. That's quite sick. So if you want to get more information, check out their socials at, at iBuyPower. For a PC, it's going to be given out for every single iBuyPower ace. Gotta get those aces. Players are going to start being like, give it to me now. Let's get another PC out there. Zeppa almost got one on Bind and then yeah. Oxy just got one here. Yeah. Hopefully they got a lot of money here for iBuy Power to give away these PCs. <laughs> It's gonna be an ace heavy season, five to four. <laughs> Again, this mid has not seen a lot of love from either team, maybe one or two rounds. This is one of the biggest ones. We have three members of MIBR starting to approach. They haven't really seen how C9 likes to defend this, so this is new for just about everyone. Could be a pop attack right now. Already, Plenzine's moving in, and there's that flash. No information, and already instantly backing out his vanity. Already a first snake bite on top of that of mail, just to not spot. allow MIBR to go for this double dive in this control within this B site. FRZ slowly peeking, slowly moving. I think this is the time. Yep. They get some guiding lights out of A, Cloud9. Not quite sure what's happening, but still feel very, you can see they're comfortable in their offensive positions. Oxy showing it there with the first one. Yeah, definitely. You don't need to move right away. And there's an Ooh. adaptation. Of, unfortunately, it's a showstopper that lands and greets Whippy. Advantage back for MIBR as they take control of this B site. At least in terms left. of the power of numbers, it's a three versus three. Oxy has a showstopper for the retake. Pain shells to clear out the front of the B site. Satchel within the front, right in the face of Artazine. Special delivery. Now as he pushes forward to tap on that spike and both players so far away and it's going to be difficult here for Mazin to go for the flank unless RGL can hold it a little bit longer. They're expecting it. The swing out. Dirt. Zephyr is waiting for it, but it's a one, one for one. Now Mazin's stuck on the top. Mind games are coming through. Just saw the reload of Vanity at the pillar. Now a second tap as Vanity gets a third within the round. Ooh. The Defuse and the C9 tie up the game. The IGL stepping up to clean it up for the squad. Last frag coming through five to five now, as you said, yeah. We are all tied up and it has seemed like such a battle to get to just this point here on split. Again, same thing on Bind too. It, when one of the teams is in control, they are just in control. There's no waffling here that they're doing. Yeah until it, the education or edification comes through what's happening for one of the players, one of the squads, they call the shots in. 
It's changes again, night and day here. But it doesn't look like C9's giving up too much of the reins here. 14 frags for Oxy as he starts to pop off again in the second map. Oh, the far he's behind the wall is gonna pop down. Couldn't get the kill, unlucky. Hardest Shooting shots. players in the back. Hardest shots. Spike is dropped for this one as they continue to push Boys forward. So MIBR is just feeling out the round here. A dash for Wait Nice a little flash though, but Vanity turns away on time. Double kill mm. coming through. Now only two players remaining. Oxy chasing it down. Nice shot at least from RGL. And even a second one, yeah. you know it's definitely closing in. Players are coming across there for C9 for the trade no matter what. And they have the money to work with despite <laughs> going against the, the eco of MIBR. Just hunt it down. Get those orbs in. Yeah, I think we I think we saw that. A little bit of money to work with. Jumping out, hopping around, maybe playing hopscotch. And this from Vanity. Scoring together five kills in the last two rounds with those two. Absolutely awesome stuff coming from him after finding himself going down in the eyes of MIBR in a few rounds there as the first. So now six in a row for Cloud9. They're, they're giving a bit of one sight, full push on the other. Here it go towards B main. Making quite a bit of noise here too, so it's gonna have to be a reaction from MBR. And Vanity's holding with an op in the front, gets punished right away. He was hoping to at least get just his one. And there's still an opportunity to go for a surprise attack. C9 walking it towards that flank. The timing is good, at least for my VR. They have the time to go back through vents, out within the A site. Right. And just before the wall comes up, FRZ gets that pick onto Whippy. Two from vents, one all the way around. How long will it take, Zeppa? Too long. His teammates are falling down now within the vents. Jake Elise trades it off, 30 HP remaining. Last player standing. Ooh. Now, against the world, last round of the half. Zeppa just holding towards the B main. Does get the first and second pick. Two left. Dog Healthy. available, no flashes. The shirt, the shot comes in from Artzine on the top of the B site, or the A site rather, but it's planet for them pretty much. So look at him pull back. Just letting Zeppa come towards them as he runs forward. Based on the shot! Ball. But couldn't get the kill onto oh FRZ. At the end, MIBR ties up the game. As we're going to a clean Switching. slate. He's here for Oxy to continue to pop off within this game. As C9 now on the attack, waiting for early information. Potential coming out from MIBR here on this A ramp. Out. There it goes. Comes out late. Aussie gets the first blood. Yeah. Whippy playing cross map here. So calls yeah. for the wall will happen. A lot of communication needs to be happening. Now they can weave in and out of this wall if they want to make sure heaven is there. As space is free to take. A little bit tougher now. Not double duelist. They have to go in together. That's well done. The pain shell still to split the attack from C9 Jackson's and isolates Oxy running in alone. Mm -hmm. So it'll get that kill here for MIBR. That was a frenzy kill from JZZ. And as you heard the turret earlier down. on from C9, that's players from MIBR that was pushing down and they know the B site's open. Then the whole time's been lurking there. So they just book it within this B site for a free play. Jackson's so big for Vanity's positioning. He can Jackson's also hear anybody down. coming through vent, rotations through upper uh, mail room. Yeah. Really smart stuff. I think this is expect what we expect to see from brains on this squad. And Vanity is going to find the first one. The jig is up. Nicely done. Heard the footsteps of Vanity running across. Plan Elise comes down now for C9. B Heaven now back in control for MIBR and especially FRZ with the flank watch. So there's no good post plant positions for C9 currently on our two versus four. They have to come up huge with these ghosts. Both Jake and Whippy double swing now to fight towards the B main. Wrapping across. Last There's a wrap around towards the back, but instantly RGL and JZZ win their individual duels. And MIBR, they get the pistol in the second half. Started them off strong on the last one, MIBR. See what kind of buys they get. We did have a Vandal again coming from Mazin last time. That was under the uh, course of a few frags, though, that were the result of that pistol round. And looks like we will have Outlaw coming in for Artzine, Guardian for Azine. So they do actually go for a bit bigger on those guns. A few Bulldogs and then that Spectre for FRZ for Util. All right. Looks like they want to bring these over towards B and fight these angles. God, this is so good. We have the Outlaw coming out too. We can talk about mm -hmm. the damage you could do against this half by. C9 is about to run into it. Just on the back, he's actually going to be up top. Yep. One shot. Not activated just yet. He can fall behind and then get out. Enemy 
Misses the first. Oh, actually, did connect onto Oxy. He's yes. down to 10 HP. RGL is able to help him out from hell. Recall Soul gets a second kill. That's good enough here to get his second to allow now MRBR to have potentially an easier retake. Nine Zeppa has something to say. Pushing out towards the spawn, the head and kill onto Artazine. This time picking up the Guardian, but GZZ wins that fight. And the force by attempt from C9 gets to nine. The damage, okay, Artazine, huge. The damage done by the outlaw it, it kind of made, obviously, a second guessing happening is we saw Cloud9 going into the site. You either want to peek or you don't, but with low health, it's a full commit. So C9 starts to drop a few players. They don't have the utility they need to get further. And MIBR just collapsed onto the site. It, it all comes from that outlaw. The first few shots that whittled down Cloud9 to make that strategy feel just a little weird. Bazooka, that's the cheer. Bazooka very happy with the situation, the start of this one. Another bonus. It's also my favorite dance move on the dance floor. Oh, okay, okay. Could be another bonus grabbed up here by, ooh, oof, MIBR. He was blinded to get that shot, swings in across, Oxy Spike gets the down, kill, but not B. until FRZ is on the support Boys on the off. top of the B balcony, and every other player behind Oxy was also getting dropped. Now Vanity and Zeppa, another attempt to go for a half by nice shot from okay. Vanity at least. Nine shell that could frag. We like that here for C9 fans. But the spike's down. It's gonna be difficult here for the last few players to come back and fight to pick it up. Make sure they don't get shot in the back for now. So much lurking. Could be happening. Oh. thinking about time God. and there's that timing unfortunate for vanity stuck with the orb within his hands gets picked out that picks picked off instantly rather as now Zeppa is just left. trying to find some sort of time in across that's the sound they hear that so looking to clean this one up MIBR is collapsing on these strategies so quick and we see the trades just from frz that came from heaven for the people in sight they seem to be on the on each other's shoulders with these fights and there's a kill four for frz to come through the money's not looking too good here for c9 2900 on top of that i believe with no bonus going through so it should be light buys Few foals coming through. Not too bad for C9 here as we watch this replay once again. Such a sick shot. I mean, he just went for the timing down, fully blinded, and that's the thing. Like, the, the times that C9 are going for these fours by like, okay, he's only got two bullets in his outlaw. We might be able to overpower that with numbers and the force by that we have. But as you're diving instantly into the straight line yeah. of sight that you currently have there for Artzine, you just get the pick right away. You get picked off right away in your economy. It's good enough at least to go for a buy with these half buys on the last two that you've gotten for C9. But they have to find a way to really push Artizine out of his position yep. instead of trying to go face front against him. This might be one of them. They do the same guiding light towards B, then go towards mid. So they, they, they flex on the conditioning that they've been going B every round. B, B. This time with the guiding light, they make sure they peek mid to see if there's any quick rotation. Cloud9 working a bit Top off of the precedence they've been setting here. That's just the one frag. It's been in sight when they're having trouble. Vanity's able to find these lurks, though, and it's helping. Knows that there's a push down towards yeah. the middle. So at least now the Seekers comes out on the attack, allowing for us to really get within this B site for C9. Mm -hmm. And the spray that went through behind the Seeker, another player from MIBR fell. Spike planted. Nice push. Keep going through Oxy, looking Last for the aggression. Easy kill on our team there and the lurk around for Mazin here for an exit. What happened? There's a alarm bot just waiting here towards the back, unless we're just trying to do that econ damage, keeping that mm. econ quite low for C9 because of all of these four spies that we have. I mean, I think this is an, actually a pretty good gamble here for MIBR. You move within the next round where you could still afford a pretty decent buy. Absolutely. And then C9 would probably be stuck with a much lower buy if all of these four players fell and died but great job by oxy to get that pick towards the spawn and as he keeps pushing towards the area of the defender spawn they know it's open all four of them move together and they all stay alive and i wonder if it's just 
gonna be B at this point unless they try to take heaven and, and then go towards B. It feels like Oxy with the first round they go towards A as we watch this replay again. That was vanity coming through sewers to try and get one. But uh, that was the first round we saw C9 go towards A. Oxy, as you said, got separated. Done. You don't have the double duelist to dive in. So what's gonna be easier? Almost like you're diving into C on Lotus, you go to split B. You try to get to that back corner. You get the one person in that can cause chaos and get everybody else to dip into the site and like you said flex right down that that close alleyway so many rounds towards b here i don't know if c9 has another option we'll see what they do on this again the flash towards b look towards mid and this time they'll start to take that position yeah i mean they're finding a lot of success too this mm -hmm. default that they currently have the pressure that they're adding towards b site the vanity 1v1 that he won against that push towards that a side bidding bro don't fix it currently is c9 strategy Pressuring back towards the middle, a little bit of a variation though, as they want to fight for control up towards male. The flash to swing out that spots FRZ who falls back and uses utility to push them away. Important fight coming up here towards the A main. Artisan waiting, and as Vandy goes for the jiggle peak, gets picked off, and Jay Z even gets to lurk within this B site. So the last players look at a pinch back within A Oof. as Mazine was waiting the off angle yeah. against Oxy. Reading the movement really well here, MIBR is keeping themselves in safe positions with these peaks. You can see two moving through mail room. They're just kind of slowly gaining control over the entirety of the map here. It is now Jake and 30 Zeppa. Seconds left. Looks like they're going to be saving these guns once again. We talked about that econ. It's going down a little bit every round here, and MIBR continues to go up. Artisan with the Blade Storm. The operator is still in hand now. They can keep one site basically on lockdown. Artisan has not been missing those shots. We saw the outlaw round was really able Ten to flip that left. one in MIBL's favor. They're right behind each other on everything. Even if Artisan misses, you can expect to see the refrag from somebody else. So this one will dwindle out. Might even start forcing the hand of C9 too, or trying to figure mm -hmm. out where the off is going to be positioned, right? Because if you're already going to give an indication from round number two that an outlaw is going to come out, you know the off is going to come out ASAP, yeah. Artisan. And as it was posted quite numerous times towards this B site, switched over towards the E main and got that pick onto Vanity. Again, they have to find utility and try to flush him out first and see how they want to attack that. Yeah. Looking at the way that MIBR has played and maybe be hard for c9 to have identified it yet because they have been going b but that heaven is open i feel like c9 needs to get into position just in general that causes mibr to want to move around to want to find out more and make that error so maybe even holding heaven for an extended period of time getting up into mid where we haven't really seen either of these teams play from their attack side and waiting for that error move because right now the site takes just seem to be they're too secure on the hold for mibr and Cloud9 is still questioning and how they can get in a timeout here. Maybe that answer on how they can figure out what is this the over, or, uh, what is the way to refrag better than MIBR being able to trade with these death balls they somehow always have in the right spot. Yeah. You guys, you're talking about the fragging department. I mean, mm -hmm. Oxy's dropping a casual 20 He's, now in the second match. Has so. definitely been there. Pretty decent for it. Absolutely debut. cooking. And also a showstopper ready. So this would be quite good now off this timeout, timeout rather, to see if they want to go for some sort of these B or A side heavy yeah. control. And it starts off with a, with at least mid control for C9, so the indication might be there. The communication again from MIBR, we're still going to try to play the long range hop here from Artazine from Absolutely. the elbow within this A site. A lot of noise mid to start. A lot of noise mid to start. This is just a ruckus right now. When they're walking out. I didn't expect to see too much of it, but yeah, commitment here. Boombot also wouldn't spot behind oh, the box. This is huge here for GZZ. A flash, now a double swing. Oh man, Oxy just got denied right away, but at least Zeppa and Whippy are just behind for these trades. The smoke's about to dissipate. It catches one off guard, oh, oh. and Mazin wins that fight. No trade coming out from Jake, who falls back towards the ramen. Meanwhile, Vanity was looking for a push towards that B main. There's nobody there, and that's going to slow down the pace with the disadvantage now for, for C9. So we get our first round mid, and just about everybody is there for the moment. Amazing stuff. Still a 2v3 as the lurk down mid for MIBR to suss out who might still be ready to fight. And that's going to be Artisan bringing out the Blade Storm. Actually held it for the round until they wanted to secure it. 
with great force. So they're gonna know the B hit's probably coming in off these steps and the plant. Now they move in. 30 seconds left. Planted. Yeah, it's a safe plant. The double flank went out from long. Poison orb Ooh. out here from Vanity. Ooh. Down at one HP. Up to Jake to try to find a timing. Last player standing. Snake bite to take down. At least slow down the yeah. attack and just couldn't work. They're trying to fight back towards that B main, but everybody was just posted and ready for MIBR. And they're looking good to potentially push this to a third map. It seems like they have the answers. It, it looks like Team they have the answers. It doesn't eight. seem. We're watching it right now. The strats have changed for C9 a bit on each one. The way they're hitting B. A few of the flexes towards A. Now a full hit towards mid. And MIBR is absorbing these like they understand the strats coming. They've had the numbers game three at a site when less numbers of Cloud9 are hitting. And Mazine as well. It, just uh, the shots we see every time yeah. the POV goes across him, the sky is picking up the kills it needs to. It, it definitely didn't look like it was an easy shot to make because there was nope. a lot of utility <laughs> trying to push him out and he just closed lines Oxy, rocking it up towards the air yeah. to get what? A Rose ult. Again, a lot, the Razors are getting shut down today. It's not a good day to be a Razor. Seems like each time, something, something in the air. 11 to seven. MIBR here, like you said, a few away from bringing us to Lotus. A good line of scrimmage, a very push forward line of scrimmage here for MIBR. Timing on this, dash activating, oh, dash no. is forward though. At least up drafts away. We've that's been there. safe for now, exactly. Actually, that's why I don't play duelists. Yep, exactly. We we'll always do that. Hey, you can see how much they just want to press W. Hartson now looking for another shot. Ultimate towards mid, they're going to leave that down. Oh no, they keep it up. Just a deterrent rotating through that, making sure there's no flank. And again, C9 want B. They don't have Oxy to get in, though. Who's first? That's the question. You have no choice. There's no control towards middle. There's no information towards the A side, so you're just trying to Oof. get trade. Get the numbers right within the B site. Spike is down. Nice shot by Whippy. A chance to get this round. He's going for a fake tap, giving a lot of time here for GZ to rotate across with Mazine from the top of B Heaven. Showstopper, they just want to guarantee it. Gets off the spike, pain shells oh. coming down. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Everything's gonna hurt here. <laughs> Ain't gonna miss that one when you're pinned like that. MIBR at match point. Match point. Taking control of these last few rounds. Three in a row. You see one round on time, defuse, and then just all out frag. They're advancing. They're <laughs> it's just getting stronger. And see, look at that. There's a trade right after that. See the frag to a frag, and then another one. Somebody's up on rafters getting the kill. And again, if that looked like it would not have gone MIBR's way, you still had a Mozzie in there up on top. Always seems to be an answer here. And I think that's why we are seeing MIBR be able to take this. It is their pick. It looks like they're feeling comfortable on it for a reason. Trying to go for the pressure towards the site. Nice Ooh. delay coming out from yep. FRZ. So cycling from the wall back to a snake fight, not allowing C9 to really gain control of a heaven. Oh, oh, no man. way! No way! Artazine is on something different today with the <laughs> top shot through smokes that he's getting. Fully blinded to. This man's on point. Jiggle out from Vanity. Three players rotating back from the A site, back up towards middle. Lockdown available for Whippy for a hit as well, but it's a cosmic divide to start things off. Nice shot here from Vanity with the utility being thrown as the Viper. JCC holding down towards the hell, but finally gets stopped. Not until it's a two versus one with the spike down in the open. Big flank coming out towards B main. Vanity's just looking to pick it up. Pit available. Wall comes down. Welcome to my now they know world. exactly that he's down towards the double box. Left. Shot out from our Artazine, but this time will not connect. One Trying to walk back out. Remaining. Nice shot there onto Mazine. Artazine, it's going to be difficult for him now to try to retake the site with a knock. No dash. Moves forward and spots him right there. Four wow. in the round for Vanity to get the Red Bull clutch and keep C9 in the game. Vanity's multi kill rounds are incredible right now, especially when it is imperative, right? Not a half two round, or not just a maybe round, it's a half two round. And Vanity continues to step up in these situations that he's put in here with the 4K. And there still should be quite a bit of money here. That operator. <laughs> 
Operator going to go back in the hands of Artisan. But C9, a little bit of life. Breathe into that one with the Red Bull clutch. Now we switch to A, Van Silly. We switch to A. Very unlike C9 in the past seven, eight rounds. Let's see what they can do with it. They're going to be two on to ramp, though. MIBR is ready to fight this. This orb is actually giving an advantage for Artisan to reposition himself on the other side. Now as the orb comes down, gets the nice headshot there onto Oxy, the updraw. Oh! Oh, to allow GZZ to push forward. Stuck with the nade in his hands. Jakey moves forward to get the fake with the Guardian. And a flash to push the players back on the defense for MBR. But the advantage still for the defensive side. Seeker is coming out to get the information on all three. You so Whippy run. has to make a move now within the B side. It starts with a lockdown. Yeah. And to break the Seekers, and the other two are still down towards the A site, so yep. you're keeping players from MBR with an A. So the Seeker is actually giving false information. They dip out. Smokes are all set up. Enough stars to cover the site. A quick gravity well denies the instant hit, giving rotation time now to MIBR. Very well done for our GLA Flash to come out within the smoke, too. And there's that first contact, oh, but it's a trade. Trial. Still a player advantage. Seekers out on the attack. All three players now spotted towards the bee heaven, allowing Zeppa to cross over and go for a safe left. plant. Jake has to try to make a play, now pushing towards the spawn. So Zeppa, the only thing he could do is try to jiggle, stay alive, fight towards the Astros. Balcony. Jake about to get swung here by RGL and he wins it. The double step. I seen drop down towards the hell. Support coming back as Jake is playing towards the spawn. There's that first pick from Mazine. Jake on a two versus one. The shots now positioning Artisan with the off, oh, misses it as that pick comes in for Jake. Reload, tap on a spike. The jiggle oh, away, yeah. stays alive for a bit as Mazine has to go in to try to bring it to halfway, and he'll do so. He's not going to get Jake off. Jake is just it. winning it. Oh, now he off. does get off it here as Jake is walking back out. There's a tap, Mazine with the off angle, wins that one v one, and MIB.